Well, welcome back once again, everybody, to Junk Shop Library's Improv Bible Study. Possibly the least respectful Bible study currently running. Possibly. We turn today to the 31st chapter of the book of Exodus. Hopefully with no more incense or holy oil recipes so that uh, we don't fall asleep here together. 31. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, See, I have called by name Bezalel, the son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah. And I have filled him with the Spirit of God in wisdom and in understanding, and in knowledge and in all manner of workmanship to devise cunning works, to work in gold, and in silver, and in brass, and in cutting of stones, to set them, and in carving of timber, to work in all manner of workmanship. And I, behold, I have given with him Aholiab, the son of Ahazamach, Ahizamach, of the tribe of Dan, and in the hearts of all that are wise-hearted I have put wisdom, that they may make all that I have commanded thee. The tabernacle of the congregation, and the ark of the testimony, and the mercy seat that is thereupon, and all the furniture of the tabernacle, and the table and his furniture, and the pure candlestick with all his furniture, and the altar of incense, and the altar of burnt offering with all his furniture, and the laver and his foot, and the cloths of service, and the holy garments for Aaron the priest, and the garments of his sons to minister in the priest's office, and the anointing oil, and sweet incense for the holy place, according to all that I have commanded thee shall they do. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak thou also unto the children of Israel, saying, Verily my Sabbaths ye shall keep, for it is a sign between me and you throughout your generations, that ye may know that I am the Lord that doth sanctify you. Ye shall keep the Sabbath, therefore, for it is holy unto you. Every one that defileth it shall surely be put to death, for whosoever doeth any work therein, that soul shall be cut off from among his people. Six days may work be done, but in the seventh is the Sabbath of rest, holy to the Lord. Whosoever doeth any work in the Sabbath day, he shall surely be put to death. Wherefore, the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath to observe the Sabbath throughout their generations for a perpetual covenant. It is a sign between me and the children of Israel forever, for in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, and on the seventh day he rested and was refreshed. And he gave unto Moses, when he had made an end of communing with him upon Mount Sinai, two tables of testimony, tables of stone, written with the finger of God. And that's all there is to Exodus 31. Which, as much as I kind of hate to say it, the first half of makes a lot of sense. You gotta remember, Moses has been up on this mountain 40 days and 40 nights, with God telling him all of the special accessories and the fancy stuff he wants made when uh, Moses gets back down and, and kicks off the world's first pimp my tent contest, number of entries one. And he wants a solid gold seat on top of a gold covered wood box, and he wants uh, gold tableware, and he wants a, a specifically designed altar for the burnt offerings, and a different specifically designed altar for the incense offerings, and all manner of stuff. He wants solid gold angel statues two feet high. And after the Lord has done describing to Moses his dream home vision board, he looks around and realizes that what he's got to work with is a bunch of shit stolen on their way out of Egypt and a bunch of people who've been doing menial work in slavery just like their fathers and grandfathers and great-great-grandfathers for 400 years, not exactly any of them skilled in the fine arts of 
cunning work in linen or fine beaten gold haberdashery. So he says, well, crap. I mean, you know, I could just poof all this into existence for myself, but I'd really rather delegate this to to humans and just give them the death penalty for fucking up if they do. And so I'm going to reach down and I'm going to plug metalworking and woodworking knowledge, matrix style, into Ahoozy What's It and Thingomalus. And then you can give them my instructions, and they'll know how to make it, and they'll make me my fancy house. Like I said, insofar as it makes sense, it makes sense. He doesn't have any skilled metal workers on hand, apparently, so he just boop. plug and play, USB style. Of course, the second half of it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. That's when we get the oft-repeated death unto him who does anything on Saturday commandment, which the Lord really, really hammers home. It's like, in case Moses didn't get it the first time, here comes a second and a third repetition. We're going to make sure y'all don't have any excuses and start doing crap on the Sabbath. And if you do, if any of them does, just kill them. It's cool. Man, this is a weird book. All right. Well, that one was a little on the short side, so we're going to let this video be a little on the short side as well. Make sure you hit those thumbs ups for me. Uh, if you like what you've been seeing up to this point, check out the... Uh, Rest of the playlist over here for anything in Exodus you may have missed. Uh, Genesis is back on the main page of the channel, all three bajillion chapters of it. And if you want to stay on board with us, uh, make sure you poke the Pope to subscribe and hit the bell so you know when these come out, because as you may have noticed, there is no rhyme, no reason, no schedule. We'll be back soon with 32, fewer instructions, but more great wickedness, and not just the kind that Yahweh gets up to. Y'all take care, and we will see you again soon. Bye.